By the end of this lecture, you will be able to get documents from a collection and show the items on the browser and get a specific document when an item is clicked on the browser. As you can see, I have a simple project opened up in Visual Studio Code with two files in them, index.html and app.js file. In the app.js file, I also included Firebase configuration SDK code that you can get it from Firebase console. I have a separate video that shows how to get that link in the description below. Okay, inside the Firestore database, I have a collection called countries with three documents in them. So the first step is to get all the documents from the country's collection and display them on the browser. For that, I'm going to import three functions from the Firestore JavaScript library. So import get Firestore collection and get docs like so. Then create an instance of the database using get Firestore function const db equals get Firestore like so. After that create collection reference. So const call ref equals call the collection function. The first argument is going to be database. So db that I have declared here comma. The second argument is the collection name in this case countries in quotes. The string here must match the collection name inside the Firestore database in here. Finally, call the get docs method passing collection reference as an argument that I have declared above. Get docs method returns the docs snaps object. So assign it to a constant called docs snap. At this stage, we have all the documents along with other data inside the docs snap object. Let's use for each function on doc snaps object to get all the documents. So doc snap dot for each opening closing parenthesis. This function takes anonymous function pass the doc as a parameter to get each document. All I have to call the data method on the doc object, which is the parameter here. Console log it. Let's run the app by right clicking the index HTML file and choose open with server. And you can see all the three documents nicely fetched from the Firestore database. So the second step is to show the country names on the browser in a list format. To do that, I'm going to create a placeholder unordered list element inside index.html with an ID countries. Then create a DOM reference of it inside app.js file. So const space ul equals document dot get element by id and pass the id name countries. Okay, now I'm going to create list item yellow element on each iteration inside the for each function. So const space yellow equals document dot create element and yellow inside the parenthesis with quotes. Now I'm going to add the country name to the yellow element. Yellow dot inner text equals doc dot data opening closing parenthesis which gives the the country document to get any property from it i need to specify property name so dot name in this case to get the country name then i'm going to append the list item to the ul element using append child pretty straightforward i also have access to the firestore document id from the doc object so i'm going to assign to the id attribute of the list item so la.id equals doc.id hop over to the browser and the country names are nicely shown in a list format the third step is to attach a click event to the ul element so that we can get document id of the clicked item so ul dot add event listener click comma call the function i'm going to call it ul pressed then go ahead and create that callback function above const ul pressed equals event inside the parenthesis equals uh, angle bracket and pair of curly braces okay now i want to get whatever list item clicked i want to get the value of the id attribute which is firebase doc id to do that i'm going to use event dot target which gives ul element then I want to find the closest list item that is clicked. So closest yellow. Then I want to get the value of the ID attribute and pass ID inside the parenthesis. 
this gives you the doc ID. So I'm going to assign it to a constant called ID. I'm going to console log the ID to see if it works. Hop over to the browser. When I click any item, I get the, the associated document ID console logged. Nice. The fourth step is to get a specific document dynamically based on what item is clicked. To do that, I need to import two more Firestore functions, which are doc and get doc. So let's destructure them inside the import statement. Now let's create a document reference that we want to fetch when a list item is pressed. So inside the click event callback function, call the doc method, which takes three arguments. First one is DB, the second one is the collection name, and the third one is the ID we want to fetch a document from, in this case, the ID. Then call the get doc method. So await get doc and pass the doc reference as an argument. This returns document snapshot. So assign it to a constant called doc snap. Let's also add async keyword in front of the function parameter. Finally, call the doc method on the doc snap object. Console log that. That's it. Hop over to the browser. When I click the item, I can see the Firebase document. Nice. If you want to know how to get document based on currently logged in user, check out this video next. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.